Hi guys everyone, welcome to another episode of D Gaming. As promised to you yesterday, I will be doing more Yami Merrick farming decks. And today I have two very fun decks uh, that I'm gonna introduce to you. One is gonna be super expensive, so it's not really for a free to play player. Another one is basically a cheaper version, which is for free to play player. Firstly, I would like to thank you guys for the support yesterday. The Yummy Merit Farming Deck Part 1 was a success. I would love to see those views and likes to be the same in today as well. So I think I yesterday did not go through a bit on the Yummy Merit Rewards card. So basically that is just some different compared to the previous one. This is pretty much uh, what we get. The, in the previous round as well as this by Sh shop revival jam and this normal monster so the only different cards that we get is rod disciple <coughs> so basically what does this guy did do so when this card is summoned you can special summon up to two rod disciple from your hand or deck cannot be tributed except for the boss monster which we should be getting on the 15th of December so make sure that you have three of this as mentioned in the previous video you will have one by doing the the ladder that's a free one here so be sure to get it and that's one at the card trader so basically you will just need to farm one I mean but well this is a farming event the more you will get and you can exchange them for gold and jam and probably just get some cosmetic. So the next is this magical stone excavation. So basically what does this spell cut do is that it discards two cards then target one spell cut in your graveyard added to your hand. So there's some combo on for this spell skill but which I don't think is that good enough. It's basically for trolling decks which we will study once we get this card and spell of pain so when your opponent activate a card or effect that will inflict effect damage to you your opponent take the effect damage with the cancer deck going on as of now with two lava golden this card may be an answer with another trap card which I should be posting a video in a couple of days on how to counter lava golden which is gonna be a pain in the ladder and we have this fresh bang which is a rare card as well activate only after damage calculation when a monster your opponent control makes a direct attack so pretty much useless to be honest and we have this jam defender so pretty much this goes combo with this as of now I'm not doing too well you know in the in the new cards, I, mean, I have none of this, I pretty much of this, and just one of this. So without further ado, let me just introduce the decks that I'm gonna introduce to you. So first thing is Merrick Destiny, and you guys will be thinking like, why am I just playing this guy? So basically Catapult Turtle, the purpose of this guy is once per turn, I can tribute one monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the tributed monster attack on the field and you'll be like thinking like I'm just playing one monster here so why how, how how can I do that so you're gonna watch till the later part of the video before you will understand so I change partially that's a combo with these two guys so maybe for more experienced player you will know it straight away if not just stay tuned later a legendary ocean Basically, this spell card is to normal summon catapult turtle. Never so I change anything to tribute summon this for information. Paul Benevolence. Oh uh, well, this is just a recycling card for either yourself or the opponent. If he's gonna deck up faster than you, just probably stuff more cards to his hand instead. But I, other than that, you are most likely gonna pop Benevolence. Uh, this Impentropa attack, Draining Shield, and Massive Morph. 
I would say Massive Mob is the more likely choice and followed by Draining Shear and this Impenetrable Attack. So you may not have the, the full copy of this but well this is pretty fun. I, I have enjoyed more fun using this deck than the Merit Temper using the skill restart. So basically we have the Fian Cyber Mega Cyber which I can special summon if my opponent have at least two more monsters than me. So this is for the finishing bro, the Gravekeeper Vassal as everyone know, AMA to stop all the spell and trap when I do my damage, Union attack, two of them. Actually I would just need one but I just take two. Enemy controller, this is not for you to you know turn away any attack, this is for you to enemy control the opponent player is basically using the tribute one monster you will see in my video later backup squad I have three of this but on the starting hand your best hand is to have one each turn you take 1000 or more damage by your opponent card effect or their monster attack draw one card so basically when you have this card on your field Yami Mary won't attack you till he's gonna deck you out so as you will see in my uh, upcoming video what is he gonna do so stay tuned later Temple of the Mind Eye which is gonna be a new I would say a pain in the ass I will be showing you a PvP deck on this pretty soon so basically any better damage a player takes become 1000 so anything he hits you with becomes 1000 so goes with this 1000 1000 you draw one card but it's not as simple let's just go on to the replay later draining shear is for you to protect your life point and yourself while you are getting these two combo card these two combo card is essential for this deck next the windstorm of i don't know Atqua. so basically this is also a defense card or you can just use curse of anubis massive mob is also the vip for this card for this deck so basically I target one face up monster and it, it attack and defense get double but it can't attack directly. So let's go on to the replay and I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for the support. Remember to subscribe, give a like and follow me on my Facebook for more updates. So this is uh, I'm using my Merrick destiny what will be his destiny so I go first and basically you will start off with a ton of trap card so you shall just go floodgate and impenetrable attack and draining shield I will just floodgate it no biggie so basically this is just a stalling card I'm just empty my field so with this guy out and a powerful rebirth I need to activate my, activate my destiny draw so I take the first damage to get a uh, destiny draw on my next turn and I use Impenetrable attack to take no better damage and I take a destiny draw. Draining shield to recoup back my life point from this base and I just use Impenetrable attack on the next turn. So basically now it's just storing and this guy just came on attacking me. I use War of Disruption because I have enough of their nonsense. And he's just trying to activate my Destiny draw, which I don't mind. I still have two defensive cards here. So now I think he's gonna summon what you guys think it is the Wind Dragon of Ra. Hopefully, it'll be free for all in 15th of December. If there's, a, there's gonna be a farming event, I will be trying my best to make the deck for it and hope you guys stay tuned for that. So I just draining sure now because I can't take 4000 in my face. Destiny draw and guess what? Massive move. This is my trump card. Massive move to 8000 attack and he's like, oh my god, I can't attack you. But I'm a god card, but too bad. I just came on with safe attack, no biggie. I still have this in Panther attack, so I can stop any better damage. So now I'm just setting all card, pots of Babylon's. I just throw back 
uh, another impenetrable attack to my dad and one more to him. I'm a nice guy, I share. So he's trying to lower down his raw life uh, attack but no issue. So another draining shear, basically not just storing to, for me to get tons of cards but make sure that you have to get raw to more than 20,000 attack. 20,000 attack is your key. I have no choice. I can't take any more hit. I use wall disruption. And now I'm just wait. And I mess him off him. He become 9600. And he, he has nothing much to do. He's just wait waiting for me to deck up. But I turn in more massive morph into my deck. And just a defensive card just in case I need it. I still have a draining shear. And a draining shear. So I mess him off. It becomes 19,200 attack. So basically now that's nothing more for me to do. I just wait till the last card because he will just try to attack but I have draining shield. No biggie. It's not scary at all. So I just set one massive morph. Why not? I have the resources. I massive morph raw as well because I'm just a monster. I draining shield to prevent me from going down. And now Okay, first thing you need to do, use legendary legendary ocean to special summon catapult turtle because he's gonna do a combo with soul exchange. Remember to soul exchange the wind dragon of Ra, so he will become part of your monster, and you will use the catapult turtle effect to inflict damage to your opponent equals to half the tributed monster because I so I changed Ra, it become my monster so I can just give him a 19,200 attack easy peasy like a cheesy remember to subscribe drop a like and I hope you guys having good farming luck unlike me I'm just trying to make different kind of decks for you guys to have some op option to have fun so next is gonna be the the Merrick temper where we build a temple for him and my hands pretty sucky I need to have the backup squad and the temper of mine so on this turn I got a backup squad not bad massive more for me to protect if I need to which I really need to so basically he just do what he do and let's just see if he attack oh no he did not attack because backup squad and i got a temple of my art so for now on i'm not i'm safe if you get this two starting hand especially backup squad you are more or less safe unless your life point is already damaged so i'm just milling up my cards trying to wait till the last turn he won't attack me until like I have like 2 or 3 cards Like as of now, he did not attack me I just set up 2 massive more because it's gonna be my un turn end combo Just disposing some cards because I know that he will attack me So Anyway, stay tuned guys for later I will be trying to make a dinosaur ninja deck so hope you guys will like it i have some idea i just need some video and some highlight for you guys and i just use a max massive morph because i'm running out of cards to throw and i would like to put one in my back row so i just give it to him why not so i left with three cards he still did not attack me now i left with two turn face up attack me a thousand life point but i would draw one card remember that so on this attack, if he attacks successfully, I will be decked out before I know. So I have to massive morph him. Remember that. And I massive morph the mass beast to make his attack more than 10,000. And on the last turn, basically, you have to special summon the fear mega cyber and econ tribute and take his monster and use gravekeeper Wrestle and do your secret pass and union attack combo with AMA and you get the OTK 27 of oh, 26,400 in Merrick phase and we got him a temple 
good luck have fun with this deck i will, i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned for more uploads and updates follow me on my facebook and subscribe to me enjoy your day good morning good afternoon good night and signing off peace